Hey guys, welcome to my double life where I play all sorts of games that mess with my head and probably aren't that good for me. But what can I say? I enjoy it. So tonight I am going to start a brand new game that is a nurture game that also I'm told is heartbreaking and upsetting and it's all about nurturing an adopted child, which should be fun because you know, I have children. So let's jump into it. Okay, so just a warning to myself and others, this game contains sensitive material such as bullying and references to assault that will be distressing to some players. Fun! Okay. I'm ready. World War II rages across Europe, Norway is occupied by Germany. World War II ends and Norway is liberated. The nation celebrates. After five years of occupation, the signs of the Nazi occupation can be scrubbed away. Three years later, you adopt a child. Thank you for taking care of Klaus, he cannot stay here. Thank you for taking care of Karen, she cannot stay here. Um, I think we're gonna adopt Klaus, since my oldest is a boy, 1951. So I've had Klaus for three years, it sounds like. Oh, there's a little heart with a thing on it. I'm home. Hey, did you have fun with Liv? So I'm gonna do this just the way, as close as I could to my own parenting, which honestly I might regret, who knows, because I, I don't know. I don't know how good of a parent I am, so we're just gonna try. Yep, we had so much fun. Liv is my best friend. We found this cool, kind of creepy looking tree stump in the forest. It looked like there could be a treasure in there, real treasure. But then it started to rain. We guarded our treasure anyway. Oh, I'm gonna listen to his story. And then, and then, okay. And then we found out the tree stump was empty. But maybe the trolls might put some treasure in there later. So we're gonna go back and check later. Oh, you have such a good imagination. My goodness, that's amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Huh? Oh, it's kind of late. Yeah, it is. The sun's almost gone away already. But, but you have to see this. Liv gave me a present for my birthday tomorrow. Oh, it's your birthday tomorrow? Can I open it now? I'll be so quick. Okay, so I'm the worst about presents and I always give them their presents early. Like we just about celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. Sure, why not? Of course you can. Really? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wowee, look, it's a ball, my very own ball. Oh, I can't wait to play with it tomorrow. I seriously am the worst about giving my kids presents early. Okay, so I have to actually do the nurturing of like scrubbing my child. Are you done? Are you clean now? So is it time for dinner soon? I mean, normally we have dinner before a bath, but that's fine, I guess. What do these things mean? Is that how long it takes? Chomp chomp. Hmm, can I have some more, please? Can I give him the other thing? Yum! Yawn, it's really late now. Even the sun's gone to bed. So sleepy. Must be bedtime. Sometimes my son puts himself to bed too. Okay, go to bed. Can I read you a story? Oh, I want to fall asleep right now. Then tomorrow I'll be here more quickly. I'll be all grown up. I'm so excited. Liv got three whole presents for her birthday. How many will I get? Um, you'll get some nice presents too, don't you worry. Oh yay, I can't wait. We're gonna have a lot of fun, I promise. Okay, night night. I have to read a newspaper in my study after he's gone to bed? Can I go to bed? Oh, how long have I had Klaus? So you end the day by turning out the light. Wait a second, his birthday is August 18th? Cause I'm just saying my child's birthday is August 20th. Mm, good, good morning. You know, so they say you have to wash his face to wake him up, but it should be brush his teeth because, you know, it's typically what you do in the morning. Oh, it's my birthday, it's my birthday. I barely slept all night. I'm seven years old now, seven, do I look different? Hmm, maybe a little. Am I a big boy now? I think you really are. Wow, we, I'm all grown up. Liv was supposed to send me a birthday letter. Can we go see? Okay, let's go see if we got a birthday letter. Happy birthday, sorry I can't be there. Can't wait for school to start so we can hang out every day. You're the best, Liv. 
P.S. I touched a troll yesterday. Sure you did, Liv. It's a letter from Liv. <gasps> she really saw a troll? I wish I could play with Liv today and every day, but she's visiting her aunt in Gutenheim. I hope I said that right. Hmm, I kind of wish I hadn't opened Liv's present yesterday. I know, can we play with the ball she gave me, please? For the birthday boy, of course. No ball in the house though, you gotta play outside. Um, what did I just say? We play outside. Well, about my birthday. Well, Liv said her mom made a cake for her. Do you think, could, could I have one? I really like cake. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want cabbage instead like a grown up? No, I think, I don't want to spoil him because like I don't try not to spoil my children. So I'll say maybe we can bake one together if you're a good boy. But to me, I don't just say good boy, bad boy. I say, if you make good choices, maybe we can do that together. Um, I mean, did I really just leave you home alone at like seven? No, I apparently just didn't buy it. I'm sorry, I was playing outside with the puddles and I got messy. Wait a second. I really did leave you all home alone. My shirt is all wet and icky. Ah, that feels so much better. You needn't worry so much. Clothes get mucky sometimes, it's okay. Ooh, that's good to know. See, my son is like, wipe my hands, please. They're dirty. So is it nearly time to bake the cake? You know, I think, Klaus, you've made some really good choices today. So I think we're going to go bake a cake together. I'm so excited. I've never helped to bake a cake before. That was really fun. Yay, time for my birthday party. I like cake. Your cake is the best I've ever had. See, it'd be nice if I can get anyone to eat my cooking in my house. You got me a present? Ooh, I wonder what it is. Yes, drawing pens. Oh my god, my son would love these. He loves getting crayons and color pencils. Every time we go to the store, he's like, I want some crayons. You remembered what I wanted. Thank you. And guess what? You can use them when you start school next week. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. I can't wait. Thank you so much for my present. I love it. I'll help you color anytime, bud. That was fun. I love my new pencils. Um, can I stay up a bit longer, please? I just don't want my birthday to end. I mean, at this point, like when it comes to bedtime, I would probably be a little more harsh. And I would say, no, it's time for bed now. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, look, he passed out like immediately. Today was real fun. Did you have a nice birthday? I really did. Thank you. We had so much fun. I just wish Liv could have been here, though. Do you think I'll get any more presents? Mm, I would probably be honest, so I'd say, mm, probably not, little one. Oh, that's okay. Wait, little? I'm grown up now. I'm sorry, you are grown up. You're my big man. Would you read me a bedtime story? Absolutely. Sure, anything for you. I read a bedtime story every night, okay? Aww. So I get the feeling we're not very well off, especially because I'm like a single mom with just one adopted child. And there's not like a lot of food in the house. Hopefully I've got a source of income. Oh no, I don't have a job. Um, okay. I mean, my child's a little bit younger, so I might like, I don't know, like be softer on the edges a little more with this. Oh, this makes me uncomfortable. I have not addressed the idea of telling my child about like issues with money. So do I. I'll get a job soon and then maybe we'll get better food. I hope so. So I can now try to find work. Are you nice and full now? Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of food. This is so bad. Since it's Sunday today, how about we go explore the forest? You don't have to always buy things. We can find food too. Oh, thank goodness. Which is good since the store is always closed on Sundays. Thank goodness. Oh look, so many things to pick. A lot of blueberries. Oh, and now he's dirty. All right, Klaus, let's clean you up. All that playing outside got you dirty. Steady job Monday to Saturday. I read your ad for factory work and I hereby wish to apply. I'm a hard worker who would be very grateful for a steady job. Please consider me for your position. So I was drawing today and I had an idea. I can help us earn money. We can sell my drawings. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. That's a great idea. We'll work hard, both of us, together. Yeah, I like that. We can help each other. A story before sleep would be nice. I can't, I can't read to him. I'm out of time. 
Okay, it's past your bedtime. That's what I would say. I'd be like, no, we stayed up too late. I'm sorry. No more stories. It's too late. Can I read to him while he sleeps, please? Okay. We are happy to offer you a job at our factory. Please start at your earliest convenience from August 21st. What does it say? I got a job, which is good, but I'm going to start being away during the day. That's good, but I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. How about I come with you? I can have a grown-up job too. Do well in school first. That's all that matters right now. Okay, I'll do really well in school. I'll be the best in my class. I'm home. Playing with Liv was nice. I hid a drawing for you. See if you can find it. Okay, that's great, bud, but you're like super starving. So let me give you some real food. Munch, munch. It is very expensive to feed children. Okay, okay, bud, I'll put you to sleep. That's fine. You seem a little nervous. Are you looking forward to it? Look, if anyone's mean to you, just ignore them. Huh? Why would anyone be mean? Kids are mean. Oh no. Because some people are mean, that's just how it is. Can you read me that story I like? Of course. Because the last time it wouldn't even let me. Today is the day. I'm starting school like a big boy. So how about we get ready for your big day? Yes, I'm almost ready to go. Yeah, you're kind of dirty, Klaus. We should probably change your clothes. Oh, and it's your first day at your new job, too. Maybe soon we can afford a nice backpack to carry my school books. I think I saw one in the shop. I'll try to get you one, but we have to see if we can afford it first. Um, I'm nervous. Is it because I told you about the mean people? Do you think you can walk me to school? Okay, so I can't be late for work, but um, I don't think I can. How about we walk some of the way together? Thank you for walking me here. The school is really big, isn't it? Be strong and be confident. Show everyone how smart you are. I'm home. What's wrong, Klaus? Clearly there's something wrong. It was like you said. I was trying to make some friends. He trusts me. <gasps> he trusts me. But, oh, I'm so sorry. Did you try talking to anyone? If they keep being nasty, you'll let me know, right? I will. I just wanted everyone to like me. I don't, I don't know how to deal with this situation. If they keep being nasty, I'll have a word with them. What? No, no, it's fine. Oh no, was that wrong? That was bad. Oh no. I'm so tired after today. I could sleep a whole week. I'm not sure I like school. It'll get better, I'm sure. No, I'm not, I don't wanna lie to him. If anything tells me about this game, it's not gonna get better. You'll work harder than anyone and earn their respect. Yeah, you're right. I guess I can keep trying. Of course. I will read you a bedtime story. Every night, Klaus. So the only difference here between my real life uh, is I'm a single parent. So, um, in the game. I'm, I'm not sure that I want to go. But I have to go or Liv will be on her own. Maybe the kids would be nicer if I was like them and had a backpack. The other kids all have one, I'm, but that's not, that's not going to solve everything. Um, I really don't know if we can get a backpack. I'm going to try my best. Can I get one? I'll see what I can do, Klaus. So let's take you to school. I'll go to the factory. School is different to what I expected. The other kids aren't as fun as I thought, but maybe learning new things will be fun. Learning is why you're there. Things will change now that I'm all grown up, huh? Yeah, as you grow up, you get to discover the world on your own. Ooh, the whole world. Oh, that's really big. I'll be here for you to take care of you. Well, I guess you are older than me, but I can take care of you too. I'm sorry if I made you upset. You would never make me upset. I don't need another parent, I have you. It would just be nice to know about them. I'll see what I can find out. Now bedtime, I think. Could you read me a bedtime story? Every night, Klaus. Wow, thank you. Well, I'm getting attached. That might be a problem because I'm kind of treating him like an older version of my own oldest child if we were like out on our own and have some sort of horrible backstory. So I feel like this game is going to make me cry. I'm already getting choked up. So let me know if you're interested in this game and I will continue playing on the next part. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.